Just busted a 50k. Mm, eight people left. It didn't get as many entries as I thought. It only got like 16 entries. It's a pretty tough field as well. Like way tougher than I expected. I had like a pretty good stack very early. Just won every hand. Then I suddenly started losing every hand. Whatever. But Sometimes you... unlucky. Uh -huh. What do we do now? I guess <laughs> Go cry. What does it feel to lose 50k now versus it might have felt two months ago? It feels perfectly fine, honestly. I sold action for that one. I sold action for this. I'm not taking like a necessarily big risk. There were so many interesting hands today, so looking forward to going through them and see if I actually did play well. Who's the second person? I'm fucking intrigued now. Okay, so the second person is uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Which I'll what take the it. Fuck? Which I'll take it. Rami Malek from Mr. Robot and Jean-Claude Van Damme. Which... Right, so basically the Jean-Claude Van Damme thing is purely based off skin tone and hair color. Both and muscularity. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> the honk if you think Espen looks oh. like Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> right, if you're addicted to opioids, then your family and friends can never love you. Why, like, there's some batshit crazy adverts over here. Why is that from the hangover? 5.3k main event. Uh, I hear it's uh, an incredible tournament, so I'm looking forward to see how the field is. I actually won an all in the last hand. Hijack opens 1700, so like three and a half big blinds. I make it 6.8 in a small blind, so 4x is open. Big blind, cold, cold four bet jams for like, I mean I have kings, so I, I, I'm just like, okay, we're getting it in. But I'm, I, I'm thinking her range is probably like queens plus and ace king, but she has pocket nines. So we're in great shape and we hold. So I guess I have like, uh, what, 70k or something? Closing in on two starting stacks. Is it as soft as you thought it would be or? My table is very good. We have a we have some people that know what's up. But... Since we can't film in the actual poker room for this one, see you at the next break? <laughs> yeah, see you for the next break. <laughs> okay. Pads offered you 100k to Pads stay in valleys for one year. Pads did not offer me anything. Pads is trying to get someone to to crowdsource 100k to make me stay in balance for you. Uh, What's your number? 700k or something? If someone will offer 500k to say, okay, balance for a year, I would snap things. Instagram story. We're backing 169k for day two. Pretty uneventful day to be honest. Like I didn't play that many interesting hands. Like after the 50k, I had like 14 hands written down or something. What? Today I had one hand written up. Don't get put in as many tough spots in these tournaments. It's one hand where I flat tens in a cutoff versus undergun seven uh, at like 42 bigs. Uh, small blind squeezes. He's very active and very splashy. I uh, back jam, uh, he calls ace king, I win the flip, so now I have a chunks. Feels good man. Hijack opens, I'm the button with a7 suited, I 3 bet, uh, small blind uh, jams, but he, he jams for like, I think I 3 bet to like 13k, and he jams for like 26k or something like that, so I have to call off any two. Uh, I call, I have a7 suited, he has pocket kings, river, Barry, motherfucking green side. We're gonna go back here tomorrow at noon to continue. Now I think we go to the cash game area, find Henry, hope that he's been uh, printing today as well, wrap it up so he can drive us home. <laughs> Have you yeah. got cash for LA? Kind of. <laughs> game you were meant to be on originally. Garrett had like 700k in front of him, Double M had like 700k. I talked that I'm gonna miss the 25k as well because that's on day three of the main. <laughs> Can't get the race. Sell you 25k. This kid. Okay, I'm gonna buy you the 25k. How much markup do you want? 1.2? 1.5. It's not funny, it was only <laughs> the first time. Day two, good start so far. I have like, I started with 169k. Now I have like 260 something. So, very good. I have Mickey, Mickey Due, the guy who came third in Man Amount. He's like the main threat at the table. I played like one interesting hand, I guess. He opens cutoff of 35. I tribute the button with Jack 8 suited. Uh, kind of whatever, if I tribute or call here, I think. Flop comes. Jack, nine, four, uh, with the flush draw. I don't have the flush draw suit. He checks, I check back. Turn is a five. He bets one third or whatever. I call, river is a six. He bets one third again. And I'm considering if I should raise for value, but he's striking as a guy who don't really, he's not gonna call anyways. Like if I jam here, he's not gonna call anyways. He's like much worse, I think. 
So I just end up calling, and he has Ace King offsuit, which is like super clear jam pre. And I'm not sure what he's trying to do post. If he's bluffing or value betting, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Second break, uh, we have. 330k or something. I had a table where I had full control, I felt like. I was tripping people, I was fucking winning small pots, you know, like redlining. <laughs> then I get moved to a new table, and I didn't win a hand for like the first hour or something. First thing, I just station a guy down. I call small blind with 9-8 of spades. Love comes queen, 9-4, two diamonds. He's give us like quarter pot, I call. Turn is a six, 40% pot, I call. River is a seven, he bets like 50k into 100k. Okay. <laughs> Didn't love it, but yeah, felt like he was, yeah. Anyways, uh, he had king four of hearts, so absolute zero equity bluff. People are taking a bit more time with their decisions and stuff because yeah, people want to make the money. I think min cash is like 8.1k or something. Break is over soon, I think. GG's. GG. It's not the same when you interrupt <laughs> mid-story. Yo, can you repeat what you just said? <laughs> I didn't have 10 minutes to bring my camera. Okay. I just overhear the floor telling this guy, like, really sorry, it's not the casino's responsibility. Like, there's nothing we can do. Guy scoops both boards, shows his hand. The other guy just takes the 2500, puts it in his pocket. So I'm not, not paying. What do you mean I'm not paying? Yeah. Security come over, like, so you, you give 2500. He's like, I'm not paying. He just puts the chips in his pocket, stands up. They give him a lifetime ban. Okay, so back to me. So I have 600k. <laughs> I... <laughs> this guy did. Okay, so we're two off the money. <laughs> and an undergun seven opens. Uh, I flat kings in a hijack. Next seat, the cutoff goes all in for like 200k. I snap it off, of course. The guy has aces. Uh, king on the flop, he's out. I have a lot of chips. Feels lucky, man. Felt bad for the guy. <laughs> I defend pocket fives versus a button open. Flop comes nine deuce deuce, rainbow. He bets 10k into 50 or something, like I call. Turns a five. Me? <laughs> I check. He bets 10k again into like 70 or whatever. I raise to like 65. He calls. River, 10. I jam for like infinite. Probably not my best hand this, to be fair. I'd probably raise bigger on the turn and maybe the jam on the river is not good either. But he tanks for like six minutes with 9 10. So he rivered two pair. I was sure he had to deuce. He was talking like he was gonna call. He said, oh, I don't think I can fold this. Are you winning? Yeah, cruise in one hour on me. No. <laughs> okay. You should be happy if you win anything. You're not a poker player, you're a commentator. Uh, you're an Instagram <laughs> model. <laughs> <laughs> you might get the conversion. Oh, is this on camera? Dude, we might our cocks. Not our cocks exposed though, that's different. God damn it. Okay, okay mute that part. Yeah. Jack eight off, blind versus blind for 20. Uh, big line checks, very good player. So he jams on me. He's actually right there. This is the guy that he, he swooped in with the queen down and club. <laughs> owe me money. From oh, our swap. 23 seconds. Oh shit, I owe him money? Yes. I'm gone. Okay, okay. goodbye. Do people see that even Chris Beer <laughs> can punt sometimes? So cutoff opens off 25 bigs. I have King Jack of Holtz on the button. I have a 23 big blind and a 40 big blind stack behind him. I'm small and big. Peel shot at 25, I'm sure. I call. Yeah. Uh, forward, big blind defense. Jack 10 8, two spades, one hole. Eight's non spade. Uh, check, check. Oh, sorry, check 20k. I call. Guy just rips 270k out of the big blind. I would call. <laughs> I, ended up, I, ended up, I ended up calling, but I got it in debt. <laughs> you just like queen nine or what? Nine seven. Uh, <laughs> the actual nine. Day. How many people left? We're like 75 or less? Something like that, yeah. 75 left. Uh, I think we've locked up like 12k oh. or something. Well, almost at the fun part. Oh, yeah, we're get, it's yeah. closing in you on the fun part. You can feel it changing too. Like people yeah, like yeah, yeah. a lot more now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I move there just in case I win the main event sometime. <laughs> you had a feeling. Yeah, I had a feeling. Don't film my bust out hand, please. I'll take it. You said we can chop. We can chop. No, not like this. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I, I would hope maybe I had a check, you know? No, I was thinking about him. <laughs> he looks so, like, pained, but, like, 
I got owned more than I've ever gotten owned before. Yeah, so I opened King 10 Citadel in the hijack of 25 bigs, 24, 25 bigs. Button, 3 button, like super small. He goes like 3x my open. So I go 40, he goes 130. I can consider it, like he's telling me at aces, but like people tend to over bluff in this spot. So I, I've never met the guy before, I have no idea, but I call. Bluff is Jack Jack 8. So very clear, just like range. See that for him, in my opinion. He checks, and now I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? I check back. It's rainbow, one diamond. I have king 10 diamonds. Turn is the five of diamonds, so I have a flush shot. He bets half pop now, which is like a lot of my stack. I call. River, it's another eight. So now it's jack, jack. Eight, five, eight. He jams, and I'm like, even he's like, he doesn't have bluffs here. Like, what is he supposed to have? Like, there's no bluffs. Ace deuce offsuit, like ace six offsuit, shit like that. So I'm like, I don't even beat that one. So I ended up folding, and he has pocket deuces, and he shows me deuces. I'm like, bro, that hurts. I'm like 175k now. Average is 870k. So we're gonna have to just double and then double, and then we're spinning. Champ. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to not slow roll. No, it's the world champ. Oh, pay up, fucking pay up. He's gonna tap on that one. Look, that one away from you. So Espen had the massive downswing before the tag team. And he's talking about how before the tag team, every flip he would expect to lose. He'd be going into sessions like expecting to lose. Wins the bracelet with pads. And then literally the very next tournament, expecting to win flips. So it's one of those days. Very, very pure state of mind. I bang. Half, half average, but it's nice. 47 people left. 47? I mean, yeah. Out of like 1,200? 1100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have like 22 bigs, I guess. Oh, fucking hell, you're absolutely cooking, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah we're cooking. Flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> absolutely cooking, mate. How much have I got? 5%. Was it 10%? 10%? Oh, God, mate. <laughs>